Hello again, everyone. So, uh, second one of the day. I've had another request for cohesion tension theory uh, and an explanation of that. Um, so, cohesion tension theory explains how. Oh, it provides an explanation of how water is able to move from the soil through the roots, up through the plant via the xylem to the leaves where it is evaporated uh, by transpiration. Uh, and the theory provides an explanation of how that is possible in plants, including trees, perhaps sequoiodendrons, really massive giant redwoods, for example, that are uh, perhaps 100 metres tall and able to move the water from the roots all the way up to the top. It all relies on the one of those key principles, or properties, sorry, of water. And that is the polarity of water. So water, um, with its two hydrogen atoms and oxygen atom, forms a dipole. The reason for that is because the oxygen is electronegative. Uh, it also has these two square pairs of electrons which are negatively charged. And because of the electronegativity, it has like an uneven share of the pairs of electrons between, uh, between the hydrogen and the oxygen, which form this bond. Overall, that gives the oxygen a partially negative charge. Because the uh, hydrogens have less of a hold of those two electrons there, it, it ends up with a partially positive charge. And that means but when two water molecules line up alongside each other, that partially negative oxygen is attracted to partially positive hydrogen. And that continues. These are hydrogen bonds. Now, as long as those water molecules are uh, forming this continuous chain with hydrogen bonds between each hydrogen and oxygen, the cohesion tension theory is able to explain that movement of water. So it relies on this property of water, the hydrogen bonding for, that forms between the polar water molecules. So let's uh, move over to the diagram now. Here is a cross section through a leaf. Uh, it shows the uh, palisade mesophyll cells at the top, a spongy mesophyll, uh, a vascular bundle made up of the, uh, the xylem at the top here and the phloem at the bottom. Underneath that we've got the, uh, the lower dermis, lower uh, epidermis of the uh, of the leaf and these two cells that we find in the lower epidermis these are the, uh, the guard cells and those guard cells are what form the stoma or if there are many of them the stomata Okay, so, transpiration is that uh, principle that explains how the water evaporates from the surface of the leaf and into the atmosphere. The reason it does that is because the atmosphere has a very low water potential. Just remember that trident is a symbol for water potential. So, uh, the atmosphere has a low water potential Water vapour uh, is evaporated say, evaporated from the stoma and out into the atmosphere and it moves away from the uh, away, away from the stoma and that maintains a water potential gradient. There is a higher water potential inside the spaces 
in the loop. However, that evaporation of water from the leaf, uh, combined with the uh, lowers the water potential relative to these uh, mesophyll cells. So water is able to move by osmosis through these mesophyll cells until it eventually ends up in this space here, which is just um, above the stomata, uh, which we refer to as the substomatal cavity or chamber. Just try to uh, show that. So this space around here is called the substomatal chamber. Now, as water moves by osmosis through those mesophyll cells into the substomatal chamber, it then moves out of the leaf via the stoma by evaporation. All of this is lowering the water potential relative to the water in the xylem. So water moves out of the xylem and into those uh, mesophyll cells by osmosis. At the xylem, the water, or in the xylem, the water exists as this continuous Spell. Continuous column of water. And that's a really useful phrase. It describes the way that the water molecules are all joined together by these hydrogen bonds in one continuous unbroken chain. Now, as the water moves out of the xylem by osmosis, that provides a pulling force called tension. So uh, the tension is the force of the uh, pulling on this chain of water molecules. So there's the tension part of this theory. The cohesion is the formation of those hydrogen bonds between the molecules themselves. So we've got cohesion between the water molecules and tension provided by essentially the evaporation of water from the stoma. So let's move from the leaf down into the, uh, the xylem vessels in the stem of the plant. Inside the, the xylem vessels, all of those water molecules are joined together in one continuous water column. with hydrogen bombs that form between each water molecule. Oh, sorry. So there is tension being applied due to the evaporation of water from the stomata. Uh, that puts the tension on the water molecules in the xylem. Throughout the xylem, there is this one continuous column of water all being pulled up from the top by this evaporation up through the plant. And that continues all the way down through the, uh, the lignified xylem vessel. Okay. So that is that idea of cohesion. Which is the uh, attraction between, well, cohesion just generally means the attraction between like molecules. But in this case, it's the attraction between the water molecules. 
cohesion. There is also an attraction between the water molecules themselves and the walls of the xylem vessel. So this is lignified xylem vessel um, forms an attraction between the water molecules and the xylem vessel. It's known as adhesion. So adhesion is the attraction between unlike molecules, or in this case, between the water and the lignified xylem vessel walls. Okay. That continues all the way down into the roots. Now the structure of the xylem is quite different in the in the roots compared to the to the leaves and down through the um, down through the stem. And in fact, if you're following along at home and you've got your notes with you, you'll see uh, there are a number of different uh, diagrams showing the the structure of the xylem vessels at different parts through the, through the plant. Down here, in the blue, uh, this cross-shaped thing is the xylem. <coughs> so water is being pulled up all the way down through the xylem, including down into the roots, and that creates uh, a water potential gradient because the highest water potential is in the soil. This is the soil surrounding the root. Uh, this is a whole sort of cross section of the root. It's a bit of a simplified diagram, but it shows the root hairs which increase the surface area for the absorption of that water. Between the root hairs and the, the vascular bundle, so the xylem in blue and the phloem in red, uh, there is this space called the cortex. So water moves into the uh, into the root by osmosis and it continues down its water potential gradient into the xylem now that's possible because of this tension because of this pulling force that's pulling the water from the roots up through the xylem in the stem all the way up to the leaf um, uh, and that tension is created by the evaporation of water from the stoma. Okay, so the important concepts here then of cohesion tension theory. Firstly, the attraction between each water molecule is what we refer to as cohesion. The tension is that pulling force provided by the evaporation of water from the leaf. And that cohesion and attention allows for water to move from the roots all the way up to the leaves, out through the stomata, as long as there is this continuous column of water. If this continuous column of water, if it's broken, uh, if an air bubble enters the xylem, for example, that would break that chain. These water molecules would still be pulled up because they're still in that continuous uh, column of water all the way up to the leaf. At this point, the water below it wouldn't be uh, wouldn't able wouldn't be possible to move up. And in fact, at that stage, that xylem vessel becomes useless. I think that's everything. What I might do is a second little video on this to show the uh, the evidence of cohesion tension theory, but I've sort of run out of space here, so I'll come back to that in a minute. Um, like I said before, 
channel, I have said before, if you have any questions, please leave your comments underneath the video. Um, if you've got any requests, I am available via the college email. Just look me up. Um, all the best.